just by way of example, um, when, when we look at a, a welfare situation, uh, again, I, I teach in the school, and, and this is illustrative of where I don't want to go, but we have students that don't have winter jackets and things like that. And so they get a check from the state of Michigan, which mom and dad proceed to drink up. If that um, situation was handled locally, I know that there would be teachers and neighbors who would say, I have jackets for those kids. I'll make sure that they got some food. And which happens anyway, because the money from the state is gone. And, and the reason I, I bring that up is again, I view some of this land use and, and planning as a, a small step on that slippery slope to where we're losing the local control. If I have to talk to my township supervisor, Paul um, Kempinen, or if I need to, to talk to somebody in, in my county, I, I'm happy to do that. Um, no offense, I don't want to have to talk to Matt Hookie. I don't want to have to talk to Tom Casperson or heaven forbid the governor because it's a long way away. If, if we can resolve, you know, some of these things and keep it here, um, not have to mess with some of the bureaucracy and the red tape that that's government. We all know it. I don't want to go that direction. I like local stuff and if that's possible, that's why I'm here, because I'm hopeful that that kind of thinking can prevail. Um, I don't want to be micromanaged by somebody in Lansing or, you know, heaven forbid, Barraga County to say, sorry, but you're not smart enough to be able to take care of yourself or your property. something I haven't said a lot tonight. I'm new to the plan. I, I joined the commission. And I understand the plan is mandated by the state. And I thought I could be effective. I'm a president of our local Audubon club. And birds is a major interest in environmental uh, protection. is a major interest of mine. But I believe that a certain amount of planning is necessary. A certain amount of planning in this area, any family needs that, or any group of people. And so all of your <coughs> comments are welcome. And these points that you raised to me, they're flags that we will address. So that's, like I say, I'm new to the plan, 
and I welcome all your comments and, and their flags that will be addressed. A certain amount of planning it is necessary, but we're talking about your master plan, and we've read it, we've watched it, we can compare it with other things that are going on statewide, countywide, and nationally, and worldwide, and it's opened too many doors to land grabbing our property rights, leading to other precedents that takes away our freedoms and our liberties. You know, it, you know, the double clock refining lies to look and resemble truth doesn't work anymore. I can tell you that no one on this planning commission that I've ever served with there, was their intention to do that. Least of all mine. No, I'm not. But I'm not, I'm I'm not, not saying that. But it, but that things are worded. Now that was not anybody's <coughs> intention. And I will look at this plan after having read it. And with with the you know you would especially uh, you know with um, Randy's presentation and stuff like that as you know for, you know with new eyes. But I can tell you that no one on this land use planning commission was um, trying to invite the federal government or the state government or Big Brother into our um, business. This was a plan that the that the state the state is sovereign. The state required us to do, and essentially we did this initially so that townships and what have you could use this plan for recreation planning, for grant funding, and also as a basis for um, for for uh, for zoning at a township level, and uh, and no one had the intention of uh, trying to suborn or sub uh, subvert our rights. Not not at your level, no. Yeah. But not at anybody's it, level, because we all appreciate what we have here, and that was one of the stated things in this plan, the kind of the introductory statement, the flowery deal, was that people on this commission and you all in the audience, because we're fairly tough, you got to be fairly tough to be here. Um, we, we appreciate the Copper Country. We love what we have. And and I'm not trying to... Um, and I'll look at this with new eyes. That's what we're after, right? Yeah, I'll, you know, 